It is the 13th of the 8th, 2014. This is your radioactive reality. Day number 1,251. Let's get started. Any news? Plutonium detected underground near Fukushima reactor. Test results not revealed publicly for almost a year after the sampling date. Hmm, big surprise there, huh? Officials plan to pump underground water from the same well it was found in and dump it directly into the Pacific Ocean. The insanity continues. Government expert, Fukushima hot particle particles can't be dissolved, even with hot nitric acid. Huge amounts of fallout are still bound to organic material. Quote, we have very little knowledge about this. Reaction is irreversible. Two hundred quadrillion becquerels per kilogram in fuel rod materials found near Tokyo. Quote, the material spread globally. The material spread globally. And what they're talking about is the MOX fuel in number three. When mixed with salt water creates these little pellets. Now these pellets are about one-tenth the thickness of a, a normal human hair. About 20 microns or whatever. Small enough to be picked up by dust particles, whatever, and carried off into the winds uh, throughout the hemisphere. Throughout, And again, they reported this covered over four days it took to circle the northern hemisphere. Uh, composed major part of worst Fukushima plume, which is the MOX fuel. Nobody wants to talk about it anymore. Uh, if you don't know what MOX fuel is, it's a plutonium-enriched uranium fuel rod that was being operated illegally in Fukushima number three. And, uh, yeah. It went into aerosol form. It burned. Uh... Persists for long time and living organisms, organisms must reconsider disastrous health effects. They need to reconsider the disastrous health effects. Come on, United Nations, only 9,000 people. This is a global wide deal. And of course, they're not telling us anything, really. Nuclear fuel found 15 miles from Tokyo suburbs. These are these little buckyballs, these little pellets. Fukushima Shima, uranium in glassy spheres transported over 170 kilometers. Structural materials from the nuclear reactors also present. This isn't a contained situation. This is everywhere. And Japan is leaching like a radioactive tea bag into the Pacific Ocean from its rivers, from its broken reactors, from its pumping out the waters. Open incinerators, burning. It goes on and on and on. Japan professor, outbreak of cancer is now underway in Fukushima children. Clear evidence of an epidemic. All of Japan is still being exposed to nuclear radiation. Government official, it would be disastrous if we had to conclude there's an actual increase in thyroid cancer from Fukushima. Well, that wouldn't cut into their profit margins very well now, would it? Think about the liability. The insanity continues. Shock! Water underneath Fukushima reactors to be dumped into the ocean. They've been doing it. They've been doing it. Attempts to deal with problem have failed. Now they're just being open about it. Officials, it's better than radioactive substances just spilling directly into the ocean like it is now. And this is this just didn't happen yesterday, folks. 1,251 days, non-stop, every moment of every day, with no end in sight. The insanity continues. Uh, TV host, I'm studying Fukushima every day. Quote, they have no idea what they're going to do. I agree. There is no solution. Hmm, maybe if we all actually put our minds to it. 
It's a nightmare. Tens of thousands of gallons of radioactive water spill into the Pacific each day. And that is an insanely low ball number. They don't take into the account the rivers. They're dumping this de uh, whatever they're decontaminating all this soil and pulling all the soil up while these Yakuza operated operations are dumping them right directly into the riverbed so it's flowing directly into the Pacific anyway. They're building islands with the debris they can't burn. Artificial islands off the coast of Japan. Stuffed full of radioactive material. Leaching into the Pacific Ocean. But nobody's testing that either. Government fuel melted much deeper into concrete at Fukushima reactor than revealed. <laughs> They're still not. Ah, they have left containment. They're not in the buildings anymore. At least most of it isn't. It's either in the air or under the plant. Uh, triple the depth of original estimates. They're still playing with estimates and government models, and we all know how those work. TEPCO, quote, impossible for us to evaluate potential impact. So sorry. We're so sorry. Increasing alarm at Fukushima. Trenches filled with thousands of tons of plutonium-contaminated liquid leaking into the ocean. Biggest risk at plant. Exceptionally difficult problem. Constant flow in and out of trenches. We've been going on and on and on about this. Racing to stop more from coming in, a.k.a. the failed ice wall. Kind of hard to free, free salt water, boys. It's coming in and out with the tide. The insanity continues, but somebody's making profit on that, aren't they? Unfortunately, the fuel itself is exposed at Fukushima. Scientists are test show contamination isn't going away. Reactors are leaking into the ocean. There's still a problem. PBS, hmm, what a disappointment PBS has been. Plume of water tainted with radiation is reaching to the other side of the Pacific. It's been here. What do you think the big mystery is on the West Coast? All the deaths, all the disappearances, all the insanity. Well, that's about all I have for you tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Attach your comments or video below. Enjoy it while you can, everybody. Thanks.